Today's video is about heroes, and uh, I really was kind of inspired to talk about heroes because last week <clears throat> has really been Super Bowl week, and everybody's been focused on athletes and kind of what athletes are saying and what athletes are doing. So I wanted to talk a little bit about being a hero and what that means to me and uh, how it impacts your kids. Well, remember those days when if, if you're you know, most of the people watching these videos are going to be parents. Um, or they could not be. They could be uh, uncles and aunts and things like that. Um, uh, people like that. But I remember as a kid growing up and you wanted to put on the, you know, the towel on my back and, you know, put on, so it, it would look like a cape and, you know, I get to be Superman or something like that, and I act like I'm flying around, flying about. And then there was a time period where I got a little bit older where I looked to my uncles as kind of my heroes. They could do things that I couldn't do, like drive a car or, you know, grab something off the top shelf in the, in the kitchen or build something crazy, um, uh, dunk a basketball, you know, build stuff, you know, go out with girls and things like that, you know, and that became, you know, those became my heroes because they could do something that I couldn't do. Then as I got older, um, I started to look out uh, even more so, I started to look uh, outside of myself and outside of my family unit and see people that I was inspired by and those people became my quote-unquote heroes. And now as an older man, I really don't have heroes per se it's as much as people that inspire me you know or their creative creativity inspires me to do different things that that I would otherwise I guess not want to do or um, or think about well there's something important here as we get older it will here, being, having heroes are, is very important, I think, uh, because it does allow us to think outside of ourselves and think of something that's bigger than greater and greater than ourselves. And, you know, one of the things that's important if you have kids is to always explain to your kids why it is that they're looking up to someone and what, what it is that they're looking for. A lot of times people will look to athletes and movie characters or other people like that because they want to have what that person has and it could be fame it could be popularity it could be that they that they just want people to like them you know they could want to be stronger because they want they they feel intimidated and so they want to get some kind of strength so in this video, I really wanted to kind of just talk through that, and I've spoken many times about building self-esteem and self-confidence within your children, and one of the things that I have done is really kind of just focus on, you know, you are as good as the next person. You know, you're as smart as they are, you're as beautiful, as pretty, as handsome as, as the other person. And really letting them know that they are on the level of another person. As human beings, we have many abilities. Um, and you, know, you don't know how those abilities are going to manifest themselves. If you truly have passion and, and desire to get after something, you, know, you have a good chance of being able to make that happen. Now, you may want to be the strongest man on the planet, you know, but your body does not have that ability because of whatever reason, because of the way it's built. It's okay to want that desire, but then again, you have to realize what it is that you have. You know, there's some things that we can control, some things that we can't. But you can be as strong as you want to be, or as you can possibly be, your maximum potential. You can go after that. You know, you try every day to beat your last score, your last weight lifted, or something like that. Or same thing with, you know, um, want to be good, great at math. You know, not really spending a lot of time comparing yourself to the math scores of some other other students in class because that really has nothing to do with you. 
you know, hey, I just want to get, you know, like last week I, I was able to achieve, you know, 10 out of 15 of my math problems correctly in multiplication. Well, you know what, this week I'm going to go for 11, you know, 11. That's what I'm going to try to, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get 11 out of 15 this week, you know, and that's what, that's what I do. Or maybe um, I want to become a better violinist and I practice and I have a, a two minute piece that I've been working on and last week I made three errors on the piece and now I'm going to work to do, to, to get two errors on the piece. So you're always comparing yourself to yourself. And I think if we teach our kids to compare themselves to themselves early on, then you're going to have a lot more success with their self-esteem, their confidence, and they'll be able to navigate this world's many, many challenges a lot easier. So that's my video for today, and I look forward to talking to you again real soon.